Hotels that are over there. A new exhibit in Palm Springs might answer that question. Our Tina Patel is live at IncredibleArtist.com Gallery. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, and this is an exhibit of photographs taken by a Marine based out of 29 Palms. And when they decided to host, host the exhibit, they actually thought that he would be here, but he got unexpectedly deployed again. But we are joined by the person that's behind this exhibit. Rick is with me. Now, Rick, tell me about the gentleman that took all of these photos behind us. This is J.L. Airham. He was uh, he's based out of 29 Palms and has spent uh, a tour out of Al-Anbar province in Iraq. And I met him a few months ago, and uh, he's just full of energy. And the first thing he's, he said after looking, asking me to look at his photographs was, you know, can we put on a show of my work? So he has a lot of energy. He's extremely talented guy, and, his, and, and, and to just look at the pictures is one thing, but there's like a story behind each picture. So when you start to actually go into the story behind each picture, you find out you're really getting an idea, a different look at what it's like to serve um, in the armed forces, in the war, and something you would not see on your nightly newscast. This is a very personal, one-on-one -on -one kind of look at the day-to-day -the -day life of serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. You were telling me a couple of the photos here that stuck out to you. This one that uh, that is entitled War and Peace. What do you see when you see this one? Well, it's not so much, you know, I see that one there is just the, that is the whole story. It's that we have the, that most of these young people are in a conflict over there. That in reality, they're not into the war. They'd rather see peace, but they're stuck in a situation where they have to uh, to defend our nation and not stuck, I should say, as they're put it, they've uh, volunteered for a situation. So it's, it's a conflict. Peace is the overlying theme here. You know, this is a show about war and, and peace and serving, but peace is the overlying theme here. But it is funny, the contrast that we have, because this photo also, you're saying the peace sign, but then you see this particular Marine has a gun behind it. That. Exactly. I think that piece is representative of what JL is trying to say. It's, it's that, you know, this is how I feel, but this is how I must be for now. And uh, it's a conflict that a lot of young and uh, all, all ages of uh, military people have to face on a daily basis. So um, JL is just trying to express himself. I think this is his release. Some Everyone has their own release, but JL's release is in his talent. But I will tell you, he's an extremely talented, deeply intelligent young man. Does it surprise you when you see this kind of artistry out of somebody that's A, not a professional, and B, kind of doing this while they're, they're serving? I mean, I'm sure it's not his full focus. Um, the fact that he's serving, yes, that does make it surprising. But, but no, part of JL's story is every young person's story. Owning in the gallery here for a while, I've come to learn that there are thousands and thousands and thousands of talented, very talented young people out there just trying to express themselves. Well, let's put the information if you want to come to today. The officially, uh, the tonight is actually when this exhibit officially opens, and then they're going to have receptions both this weekend and next weekend. In the next half hour, we'll show you a little bit more because we've only touched on a few of the amazing photographs that we now have from Iraq. So we'll talk about that and show you more in the next half hour. Right now, we're going to send it back to you guys. All right, Tina Patel. Yeah. Wonderful, amazing photographs. Oh, beautiful. Um, thanks, Tina. Uh, talk to now is 609. Now here's Tina Patel with, with more. Good morning. What's it like to be a Marine serving in Iraq? Well, there's a lot of downtime. Sometimes people have to find activities to keep themselves busy, and sometimes other people take pictures of those activities. We're going to tell you about a new exhibit taken by a Marine, a photography exhibit that's coming up. And of course, Frank's not your week. Now back to the data. Thank you, ma'am. Well, if a picture tells a thousand words, and a collection of pictures tells even more. Thousands and thousands of words. I'd say Tina Patel is live in Palm Springs this morning with an exhibit of photographs that tells the story of one Marine serving in Iraq, and she joins us there live this morning. Tina, good morning. Good morning. Yes, this Marine served last year in the Al Anbar province, and he took probably 900 or so photos, never thinking that one day they would be here at an exhibit at a gallery in Palm Springs. Now, joining me this morning is Rick. He's the one that owns this gallery. Now, when you saw these photos, you were saying to me earlier, you didn't want it to be political, but you wanted you wanted people to see what our Marines are going through. I think it's very important, and I think the timing is just perfect. Um, I think that it's easy for us to get up in the morning and take our showers and flick on our light switches and go through our day and we have no clue of what's going on clear across the world and the sacrifices that so many people are making so that we can sit here and enjoy our freedom and jail's timing was perfect 
He came in, he showed me his work. It was just, it speaks for itself. The work truly speaks for itself. Well, now, JL actually is, is overseas right now doing training. This is all the pictures he took. You had a chance to talk with them about some of these photos. And you were saying that some of them are very serious in, in that it reminds us what our charts are doing over there. But then some of them kind of give you that impression that they have a lot of time. Correct. Um, like many first responders, it's 80% sit around and wait and 20% high intense actions. So these guys go, these guys and girls go from complete boredom to having to wake up at 3 in the morning, get ready to go out on um, raids and missions and stuff like that. And so I, you know, it's hard for us to even comprehend what they do. And that's the reason for the exhibit. Because it is hard for us to comprehend. It's good to come down, take a look, and you get to see exactly what it's like from a, uh, an actual armed forces person's point of view to go over there on a daily basis and do the full 24 hours. And you actually tried to put underneath each photo a little story that he told you about the photo, so it really has extra meaning when you see these images. Actually, I got lucky. He's such an intelligent guy. I said, you know, we need a little story about each of these pictures. And he was like, done, already have it. And he has taken the time to put what the thoughts art that relate to each picture and usually with art I don't really need art doesn't really in certain cases it doesn't need a big story but in this case it does really help you to know what was going on why that picture was taken what was going on in the moment well now this exhibit opens tonight you said a portion of the proceeds are going to go to one of his charities yes his choice for the uh, we're always involved in charities here at the incredibleartist.com gallery but GL's choice for charity was the USO it's an extremely noble cause and just coming down and attending the show is a support of all of our troops in general I feel so we have a reception this Saturday evening uh, from, from 5 until maybe maybe 10 o'clock and then we have an encore reception the following Saturday from 5 until 10 and the show starts tonight at around 5 o'clock well let's put the information on the screen so you can know where incredibleartist.com gallery is and of course as we were saying JL who's the photographer is based out of 29 Palms so we would love to see lots of people that have a connection or want to support the guys out there come out here and support them by seeing this art and uh, hearing the stories that these Marines have to tell. Gino and Elizabeth, we're going to send it back to you. Thanks, team. Time now is 6.41. We'll be right back.